At DSM, we really take gender equality as an important thing and close to our heart. We have values groups that work on this. We have a management team that is committed. We have an external leadership team that is committed. We have spent many, many years trying to crack how we can be a role model institution. Last month, I met Alexander de Croo in Brussels and he spoke very passionately about gender equality. He then told me he wrote a book about this and I spontaneously invited him to come to the ESM in Luxembourg. Feminism is too often seen as a topic about women on which only women can have an opinion. That's the issue. If we want to solve this, we need to get as many men convinced as today women are convinced that this is a good thing to achieve and men need to play an important role in this. Writing a book about this opens a discussion. In the end, this is a discussion on gender equality, but it's also a discussion on life. It's a discussion on how do you want to organize, uh, how to want to combine our personal lives and our professional lives, and the equality of sexes is an important element of it. Having Minister De Croo uh, speaking about his book and, uh, and having the opportunity to be on a panel with him was for me an, a very uh, unique opportunity. I've been through all what is described in the book. I have also, when giving birth uh, soon after, I was also struggling in combining both my career and my, my family life. I decided to drop out of the workforce for a certain period to take care of my young children. I then came back part-time. So it has been a, a bumpy road to then indeed reintegrate the workforce. The goal of the book is to, to open our eyes. There is so much, much unconscious bias that exists. There is so much inequality of opportunity, inequality of rights that still exists. The book gives a lot of data that just shows how big there is a difference between men and women in society. Uh, giving a few elements of things that we can do in our own behavior, in our policy, in our organization, in our political uh, policy, that for me are at the core of, uh, of bridging that gender gap. I realize that, that there's more that I can personally also do to actively support, to see what personally I can give back to staff female or male, in order to, to, um, to increase awareness, to support, to make a difference for these people, uh, so that we can indeed uh, also in influence individual careers. If you want to get societies go forward, create prosperity, uh, it can only work if you enable women to participate.